Okay, so our Alpha asks two questions. It asks about the level of support uh, Responder or Teller has for Opener's suit, and it also asks about Responder's general level of controls. Uh, most commonly, you get one of the first four responses. Occasionally, you get a five step or greater response. Um, So here are the responses to alpha. Okay, so a one or two step response is a negative response that doesn't agree the suit. It shows less than three to a top honor or four small in the suit. Uh, so the best that responder will have if they give a one or two step response is a doubleton top honor or three small. <coughs> a three step or greater response to alpha agrees the suit. The uh, three and four step responses show naught to three controls and four plus controls respectively. And then the five step or greater responses all show at least four to a top honor in the suit. In other words, good support and a specific number of controls. So a five step response shows exactly four controls, uh, a six step response shows five controls, and so on. Okay, one last thing that I haven't mentioned there is that alpha, if alpha is used, it always, but always, affects either the scale for any subsequent beta and it could even affect the availability of beta because if you get a response that shows uh, good support in other words four to a top honor and four five six seven eight whatever controls then we know exactly how many controls uh, teller has and so beta is no longer available But if you end up showing 0 to 3 controls with your alpha response, then any subsequent beta is going to be the weak scale. And if you show 4 plus controls, in other words, a 2 or 4 step response, it's going to be the strong scale that's used in any subsequent beta. Okay, anybody got any questions about alpha before we move on? It's a very quick recap that, but uh, just there for anybody who... Uh, missed a session on alpha or just it wasn't clear on anything but if anybody's got any questions on alpha before we move on to sigma please ask them now okay so we've just had a quick recap of alpha sigma only appears is only available immediately after a positive response to alpha so Sigma isn't available after a one or two step response. It's only available after a three step or greater response to alpha. And it's only available if it's used immediately. If you go off and use Relay Beta first or Epsilon first, you cannot then make a Sigma. You can't go back to a Sigma ask. Okay. Sigma is was created because Jason Hackett and I realized that uh, we didn't have, um, sorry, it wasn't Jason and me. Uh, we realized more recently that we didn't have any way of checking on Trump's solidity after a, uh, a positive response to alpha. We could check on it if we had a negative initial response to alpha, but not if we had a positive. And if you've got a holding like, say, ace king to five as, as Oscar, then the difference between four small and three to an honor and four to a top honor is quite big, especially if you're looking at possibly bidding a grand slam. As I mentioned earlier, or, or there rather, Sigma is always used for hands where Asuka is definitely interested in a slam. If, if, 
we weren't in the market for for a slam and we were only looking at to play in game, it's very unlikely that Sigma would be used because there's normally much more important questions to ask. Uh, so the use of Sigma is always giving a signal to responder that they're almost certainly going to end up in a slam. It's particularly, for example, if uh, responder has um, perhaps made a four-step response to uh, alpha, which shows four or more controls and support. Um, but if opener is really very, very strong, then it might be uh, just because opener is very, very strong. And if responder's got a positive response, they're definitely thinking in terms of a slam. And it's also where trump solidity is potentially an issue. If opener's got ace, king, queen to six in a suit and responder shows support, there's never any problem because if opener's got ace, king, queen to six, by definition, responder must have at least four small cards in the suit because they can't have a top honor. So trump solidity is just never going to be an issue. It tends to be when opener is very strong, but the trump suit isn't terribly strong. And they need to check just how solid trumps are before we uh, start heading off into the stratosphere. So if you just show, if you make a three or four step response to alpha, particularly a three step response, um, there's really no top limit to how good your trump support could be. So you could have anything from four small right the way through to a five card support with two top honors. Um, it's not very likely you're going to have all three top honors, but uh, there is scope for that in the responses to Sigma. Okay. So sometimes it may be because Sigma does use up a, a little bit of space here. Uh, we've made it as cheap as we can, but it still does consume space. And the person asking the questions has to mentally work out whether it's more important to use the space for Sigma. Uh, maybe they don't have many Epsilons that they want to ask. Um, or whether the space is better used by um, using Beta if it's needed and then having the space for Epsilons. If you use Sigma very often, you've eliminated the space for at least one Epsilon. Um, you know, you might get one Epsilon in, but not two or not three. Okay, let's have a look at when a bid is Sigma. And this has changed last year. Um, the original rule was actually what I'm going to show as the simple way of working it out. But we realized last year that actually that rule wasn't quite sufficient. Okay, so originally this was the only rules for, for Sigma that we had, which was that over a three or four step positive response to Alpha, um, an immediate repeat of the agreed trump suit below game level was Sigma. And over a five step or greater response, a relay in the next suit up was Sigma. Okay, and we can do we could do that because after a five step or greater response, beta isn't in the game because we know exactly how many controls partner has. So we used the relay in the next suit up uh, when it was a five step or greater response. And if you think about it, a three or four step response is going to be either the bid immediately below the agreed trump suit or a bid two below the agreed trump suit. So if it goes one club, one heart, one spade, alpha, and the response was 
uh, two diamonds, that would be showing support, and naught to three controls. And so you've got a relatively cheap bit of two spades, which would then be sigma. Same would apply with a, a two heart response to one spade. You still have a fairly cheap response to uh, a, a cheap sigma ask if you need it. But if it goes one club, one heart, one spade, two spades, showing four controls and good support, in other words, four to a top honor, now a three spade response is very expensive. So in those circumstances, uh, we made the relay of three clubs, um, Sigma. We realized though last year that actually that wasn't sufficient and we changed it. So actually, this is the rule as it is now. And, and it doesn't contradict that simple rule. It's just that the simple rule only applies when you when the actual alpha ask was made by bidding the trump suit that you're interested in. In other words, one club, one heart, one spade. Spades is the suit that you're asking about, and the alpha ask is being bid by bidding spades. However, there are two situations where that is not the case. I've alluded to one of them when I was recapping alpha, which is a bit of two no trumps over a uh, positive response of one no trump, two clubs or two diamonds, where two no trumps is alpha in the relay suit. Now you're not bidding the actual trump suit. We know which trump suit's referred to by that two no trumps alpha ask but we're not actually bidding the trump suit itself to make the alpha ask. The other time when the simple rule doesn't work is when the alpha ask was done after some interference over the uh, positive response to one club, and we made the alpha ask by doubling, which would normally be the suit below the last level bid or the suit below the level of the interference. So double or redouble can be alpha in those circumstances. So suppose it goes one club, one heart, and right hand opponent bids one no trump, maybe showing both minors. Now pass would be gamma in hearts, but double would be alpha in spades. And once again, we're not actually bidding the trump suit in order to make that alpha ask. And it mucks up all of the assumptions that were in that original simple rule because the three or four step response might take you just beyond the agreed trump suit. And the five step response might be the bid immediately below the trump suit even. Okay, so we realized we needed to revamp our, our preconceptions about when a bid was Sigma. Okay, and, and this is what we came up with. Okay, so this is actually the rule to applies, and, and this doesn't contradict that simple rule. As I said before, though, it's only, it means that the simple rule only applies when we are making the alpha ask by bidding the suit that we're actually interested in. But this rule is much more reliable, and it is basically... Um, no, but that's, but that's not alpha, Sanya. That's a gamma ask. Okay, that isn't an alpha ask. Okay, over a major suit opening, we just don't have alpha. Alpha is just not available. That sequence that you've given there, one heart or one spade, one no trump, two clubs or two diamonds, and then a different a bid in the other minor, in other words, the second cheapest new suit relay, that's okay, it's no problem. But that is gamma. So we don't have sigma after gamma, we only have sigma after alpha. 
Okay, so if the positive response to alpha is within two bids of the agreed trump suit, then we use the agreed trump suit for our sigma ask. What I mean by that is, if you imagine one club, one heart, one spade, a response of uh, one no trump and two clubs is a negative response, so sigma isn't available. If we get a response of uh, two diamonds or two hearts, those are positive responses. Two diamonds is within two bids of spades. There's only one bid in between. And two hearts is immediately below spades. So in those circumstances, the, a bid of the agreed trump suit is sigma. If that doesn't apply, then... If we're, so, in other words, if we're not within two bids of the agreed trump suit, there are two, two or more bids in between, then a relay in the next bid up is sigma. And, and here we are including bids of no trumps because uh, the use of sigma is always... If we get a positive response to alpha it's inconceivable that opener is immediately going to want to sign off in no trumps, even over a minor. Um, so no trumps is in with those relays, okay? Uh, so, and, and it's in with our calculations of Um, have you got voice this evening, uh, Paula? Do I have to start typing this? Oh, no, it wasn't Paula. Sorry, Barry. Um, no, the, the, uh, it isn't. It's less confusing if we use the Trump suit when it's a cheap ask for Sigma and the relay only when it's not a very cheap ask. Okay, that, that is the rule. Because we didn't want Sigma to totally take over from relay beta. Um, if we had a cheap Sigma ask in the agreed chump suit below game level, then uh, um, we wanted to keep that as being Sigma. If it's not cheap enough, um, then we used up the relay as being sigma, and that, as, I've said, as I'll say, mention in a minute, that bumps relay beta if we need it or if, we, if it's available to the next highest bid up. More on that in a minute, okay? All right. It, it is just for it is just for brevity, and we didn't want to ruthlessly because you see we can't relay beta can't be the agreed trump suit that's the point so you could have potentially a situation where you had um a sequence like uh one club one heart one spade two diamonds if we were always going to have two hearts as sigma what would two spades be? Because it can't be relay beta. It can't be anything. That's that's the rationale, Barry. Okay, do you understand? Okay, so here's here's a quick, easy example. So one club, one heart, one spade, two diamond response, showing uh, naught to three controls and support for spades. So two diamonds is within two bids of uh, spades. So here two spades would be sigma, two hearts would be relay beta. Similarly, if it goes one club, one heart, one spade, two hearts, that's also within two bids of spades. So two spades would be sigma and two no trumps would be relay beta. But now, if you look at this, 
at this sequence, here we have one club, one heart, one spade, two spades. That's a five-step response to, to alpha. Um, so here, it would three spades would be a very expensive sigma ask. So we abandon that, and uh, the relay of two no trumps would be sigma. And it's just worth noting that here, because we know that responder has exactly four controls, relay beta isn't an issue. But there are some times when uh, particularly, there's another one, another example there, one club, two clubs, two no trumps, which is alpha in diamonds, and then three hearts. So we can't get back to uh, diamonds within two bids. So here, three clubs would be um, sigma. Sorry, three spades rather, not three clubs. Three spades would be sigma over three hearts. Um, and lastly, one club, one spade, and then an overcall of two diamonds. So here, uh, double would be alpha in clubs, pass would be re a low beta. So double would be alpha in clubs. But now it's effectively the same as if we'd bid two diamonds asking in clubs. If we now get a response of three clubs, now three diamonds would be sigma, even though it's a four-step response. Okay, anybody got any questions on, on when a bid is sigma? <coughs> I know that the complex rule for it is a little bit more difficult to get your head around, but it is much more reliable in the sense that it caters for all the opportunities. The original simple rule only really catered for alpha when it was bid in the suit that we're interested in. Okay, let's just give you a, a quick example. Okay, so here the three club bid is within two bids of hearts. So three hearts is sigma. If north bid three diamonds at this point, that would just be relay beta. Okay, using the weak scale. But here, um, north doesn't have a very strong heart suit. They've got a very strong hand, but not a very strong heart suit. So the kind of uh, support that south has uh, the degree of support that South has for hearts is much more important. So here we've had a positive response to Alpha and an immediate return to the Trump suit within two bids is Sigma. If we did something else first, Sigma would not be available, ever. Okay, so there's a simple example. Let's just break off from this bidding sequence for a minute, and I'll just uh, go over the step responses to Sigma.
Okay, so there are three distinct scales for sigma, and it does depend how many steps the original alpha response went. By the way, there is no 93 step response to alpha. Uh, that nine was supposed to be a bracket to apologize. Um, so the different scales uh, take into account the minimum possible level of support that responder might have. And in one case, the maximum possible level support they can have as well. Um, that will become obvious as we go through them. Okay, so the, if the original response, the positive response to alpha was a three-step response, the level of support that opener can have is actually completely open-ended um, when they've got support, but only naught to three controls, okay? So here, the step responses are as follows. So one step would be showing four or five small, two stops shows three to a top honor, sorry, two steps shows that, three steps shows three to two top honors, four steps shows four or more cards with one top honor, and five steps is four or more cards with two top honors. So here you can see there's, there's quite a big difference um, between the one step response and the five step response. And when we're talking about Trump solidity, obviously that makes a big difference. So when opener has, sorry, when responder has support, but only naught to three controls, there's quite a wide range of responses that are possible for that Sigma ask. Okay, but over a four step response, it's actually much more limited. If you think about it, here, the minimum level is still three to a top honor or four small, but it's impossible now <coughs> because of the four step response. It's impossible that Teller has as good a holding as four to a top honor because otherwise they'd be bidding a five step response because the four step response shows support and four or more controls. If responder had four or more controls and as good a holding as four to a top honor, they'd be bidding five, six, seven, or eight steps in response to alpha initially. So that the absolute top level of support that responder can have if they made a four step positive response to alpha is three cards to two top honors. They might have four small, they might have three to a top honor, they might have three to two top honors, but they can't have four to one top honor, which would be, um, if you like, the four step response in response to the previous scale over a three step response to a positive, uh, positive response to alpha. Everybody with me so far? That's why there's a different scale for four steps for a four-step response to alpha than there is for a three-step response because there is a top limit to how far uh, responder can possibly go. Okay, now after a five-step or better response to alpha, obviously the minimum level changes because now responder must have at least four to a top honor. And so here the step responses are four to a top honor, five to a top honor, four to two top honors, five to two top honors. And the last one, which is very rare, in fact, I've never known it to happen, I don't think, is four or more cards with all three of the top honors in the suit. Um, somebody else might have had it, but I've never actually experienced that five-step response 
uh, in respect of a sigma ask um, after an initial five step response or more. Okay, just in case, because somebody asked this last year, um, if you've got three top honours, all three top honours, and only a three card support, we would show that as two top honours and a three card support. Um, again, that's never happened. Somebody asked it theoretically. Um, Right, any questions on the scales and the step responses for Sigma? Let's just go back to our bidding here. So here we had three hearts that was Sigma. And uh, so that's going to use, um, because we had, a three-step response to our initial alpha ask, showing support and naught to three controls. We're using the initial step, but here, uh, responder has four to one top honor. So over three hearts, they're gonna be bidding Oh, sorry. Hang on a second. Okay, so so here we've had a use of sigma. South has responded, showing four to one top honor. So North can be fairly sure that at least uh, there's at least one probable loser in Hearts. South may have the Ace in the Jack or the Queen in the Jack. But he's not sure, we're not sure that you would want to go to Seven Hearts even if you worked out that South has ace to four or ace jack to four you'd need to find the queen of hearts so we're reckoning on at least one loser in hearts okay let's move on a little bit going to come back to this sequence in a minute. Okay, so uh, the, there are there is the possibility of a repeat sigma, which I'm going to come to in a bit more detail. But the basic rule is that if the response to Sigma promises at least two of the top three honors, whatever the length, um, then we can't have a repeat Sigma. So now a relay over that Sigma response would be relay beta. However, if responder showed no top honors or only one top honor, then we can have a repeat sigma. And now the relay over the sigma response would be the repeat sigma. And that in turn bumps relay beta up by one bid. Okay, so here, south has shown only one top honor. 
so here four hearts um, would potentially be repeat sigma bearing in mind that the use of sigma is always looking for a slam it's never just looking for a game so it's unlikely that north is going to want to sign off in four hearts having used sigma at the three level so it's a good bet that four hearts here would be a repeat sigma and four spades would be relay beta because sigma takes precedence over beta and in this instance uh, beta is still alive because three clubs showed naught to three controls Okay, so where what this is talking about is um, it's particularly when the initial alpha ask was not made by bidding the actual trump suit. Okay, where we can have um, a sigma ask that is a relay in the next bid where beta is still potentially active. If we're using the simple model where we have used um, alpha by bidding the suit itself, then it's always the case, um, or almost always the case, that uh, the three or four step response is going to allow us to rebid uh, in the trump suit for, for our sigma ask. So now relay beta could still be a relay but if that's not the case and we've say bid two no trumps as alpha in clubs for example now it might well be that uh, after a, a three or four step response um, that might be just beyond the agreed such the agreed trump suit and and therefore we'd be in the business of the relay being sigma but beta is still active and in those cases it bumps re sigma bumps relay beta by one bid okay so most often it's only relay be uh, repeat sigma that bumps beta but sometimes where we've not used alpha by bidding the suits it's the trump suit itself then uh, it can be that we're using the relay in the next bid as sigma and that in turn would bump relay beta up by one bid to the second cheapest new suit any questions so far particularly where relay beta is concerned Okay. Okay, so repeat sigma is purely asking about the jack of the trump suit. Because if you think about it here, if you look at this sequence, there's quite a difference in terms of if south has got um Queen XXX in in hearts you could quite easily be missing be losing two trump tricks here but if south has got Queen Jack XX or ace Jack XX it's uh, impossible for us to be losing more than one So repeat sigma is always asking about the jack of the trump suit and it's only available when the initial sigma got a response that showed no top honors or only one top honor. 
So four hearts here. Is a relay over the uh, um, a relay over the sigma response uh, is a repeat sigma. So here, four spades would show I don't have the jack of hearts, and four no trumps shows that I do. So whether we use repeat sigma or not, a relay is then relay beta. So here, five clubs is relay beta. So now this is using the weak scale, don't forget, because three clubs showed naught to three controls. Oops, sorry. So now uh, North can be fairly sure that we're missing, um, well, he knows we're missing um, two controls, no, three controls. But South has got, um, he's either got the Ace of Hearts or the Ace of Diamonds, can't be anything else. So either way, we're definitely missing one trick. So he's just going to sign off in six hearts. In practice, there's not a huge amount of points. Um, it is possible that South might only have one control, in which case we'd just stop in five hearts. But where he's got two controls, we know he's got one of the red suit aces, so it's worth being in six hearts. Okay, uh, let's have a lead. We'll have Singleton Diamond from East. Okay. Um. Spare me a second. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just use this. I'm just going to use the same hand here, Ellie. It's, it's not a sequence that's going to make any, se any sense in terms of the opposition bidding, but it'll give you the idea. Okay, so here, um, pass would be gamma in spades, but now redouble is alpha in hearts, okay? So here, effectively, it's, it's a little bit like North has redoubled to bid alpha in hearts, but the step responses are going to start with two clubs by south. 
Okay. So here we're going to have two clubs, two diamonds. Um, okay, so if you think back to that complex rule now, we can't use Sigma in the tree agreed chump suit within two bids because the alpha response was two hearts which was the agreed chump suit so if if north had to do it in the chump suit they'd have to bid three hearts which is too expensive so now two spades would be sigma So now our four-step sigma response showing four to one top honor is three hearts. So at this stage, over three hearts, if north bid three no chumps, that would be saying, okay, four to one top honor is fine. And three no chumps would be uh, relay beta at this stage. But three spades bumps relay beta potentially it doesn't have to in this case but three spades will be a repeat sigma So this sequence has ended up a little bit uh, cheaper than the last one because of the uh, the double. Two no trumps would be relay beta, Ellie, because, like I said, we're never going to have. We've had an alpha in hearts, and a positive response. We're never, ever, ever, ever going to want to sign off or hand over the captaincy with two no trumps after a positive response to a major suit. In fact, it's never going to happen even over a minor suit. If we use alpha and get a positive response, we're going to end up playing in that suit. It's almost inconceivable that we're just going to sign off in no trumps if we bothered to use alpha. If we had the sort of hand where we were doing that, we probably wouldn't use alpha in the first place. Okay? So here we've got five diamonds, epsilon in diamonds, first and third. So now north knows pretty much that south has got five spades. They've got four hearts to the queen jack. Must be that because they've only got two controls. They've got exactly ace x in diamonds. And therefore they've probably got two small clubs. Either way, they know that six hearts is the limit. And we just play there. Once again, probably North wouldn't bother bidding five diamonds here. Um, but if uh, there would be a point in that 
if South had, say, three small diamonds and a singleton club, for the sake of example, uh, now they're going to have the ace jack of hearts. So we're going to lose a diamond and we might lose a heart as well. So if it goes uh, five diamonds, five hearts, North might just pass that if they was feeling unoptimistic. In practice, I think they're just going to blast six hearts. Instead of three spades. Okay, so here, two spades was Sigma. Three hearts was uh, showing four to one top honor. Um, so three spades was... Uh, the repeat sigma three no trumps would have been relay beta again if we've got a nine card major suit fit uh, there's no way we're going to end up wanting to play in no trumps so we can have three no trumps as relay beta four clubs would be epsilon four diamonds would be epsilon okay Sanya Okay. Um, and there we go. Okay, so any questions on these sequences? Um, worth just doing that first one in, in a little bit more detail, um, just so that you understand the mechanism. Um, and. Uh, Thank you, somebody, for asking me to do it when we weren't bidding our alpha ask in the suit itself, because that helps to reinforce a couple of other things to do with what I've been talking about already. Okay, just bear with me one second. I'll just reposition my glasses. Um, okay, so repeat sigmas. Uh, are always to do with just whether responder or teller has the jack or not. And repeat sigma is not available when the initial sigma response showed two top honors or all three top honors. It's only available when the initial sigma response showed only one top honor or no top honors in the suit. So if we use, if we if we don't use repeat sigma, then uh, if I, if repeat sigma is available, then it bumps relay beta by one bid. If repeat sigma isn't available, then a relay over the sigma response is relay beta. If repeat sigma is potentially available, then the relay over the sigma response is, re is repeat, beat, repeat sigma. And a relay in the suit above that is relay beta. Again, if it's available. If it's not available, because we already know exactly how many uh, controls responder has, uh, then it would be epsilon. Okay, any questions on... Uh, repeat sigmas. I've actually got a couple of examples. Here they are. Okay, so if you take the first example there, we have one club, one heart, one spade, two hearts showing uh, support with four plus, two spades with sigma, two no trumps showed four small. So we got four plus controls, but only four small spades. Um, So now three clubs will be repeat sigma and three diamonds will be relay beta because it's bumped up by one bid by the fact that three clubs can be repeat sigma. If you look at the second example, again, we have one club, one heart, one spade, two diamonds showing naught to three controls and support, two spades with sigma because it's within two bids, and now three spades showing two top honours and a four-card suit. 
So now we can't have a repeat sigma because responder showed two top honors. So now over three spades, uh, three no trumps will be relay beta and we can't have repeat sigma. And again, if you look at the last example there, it's gone one club, one heart, one spade, two diamonds, two spades sigma, three clubs showing uh, three to a top honor. Now, three diamonds is repeat sigma because we only show one top honor. Three diamonds, the relay is uh, asking about the jack. And three hearts would be denying having the jack of hearts. The jack of spades, my apologies. Okay. Um, and because we can't have... Uh, in fact, sorry, that's wrong. The four clubs is not relay beta here. Three no trumps would be relay beta. Three spades would be um, just sort of anti-systemic effectively. Uh, effectively, it would be um, from guidance elsewhere in the system, it would be just setting spades as trumps and asking for qubits. Um, three no trumps would be relay beta because relay beta can't be bid in the trump suit itself. Any questions on repeat sigmas and the effect on relay beta? Okay, let me just find a, another quick example for you guys. I'm not going to do all of the alerts here, um, but I'll do a few. Again, we're within two bids of diamonds here with the two no trump response. So three diamond, three clubs would be relay beta here, and three diamonds would be sigma. So the two-step response shows three to a top honor. One-step response will show four small. So now here, uh, three no trumps would be the repeat sigma. Um, and again, because sigma is always looking for a slam, there is no chance that opener is going to want to sign off in three no trumps um, in these circumstances. It just isn't going to happen. So we're actually quite safe. If you, if, as a partnership, if you want to play um, three no trumps as a sign off, four clubs as uh, repeat sigma, and four diamonds, sorry, four hearts as relay beta, you can do. But it does mean that the relay beta is very expensive here yeah. um, so personally I would play three no trumps as uh, repeat Sigma here and four clubs would be relay beta So we've got three kings opposite. Uh, we know we're missing one. Um, 
we know one of the one of the kings is the king of diamonds. Um, so it's pot luck, really, as to whether we hit on the right one. But we've probably got two shots at this. Um, sorry. So theoretically, five diamonds here is showing either no control or first and second round control in practice. East knows that West can't possibly have first and second round control because they've got the ace of clubs. So that must be no control in clubs, which is just what he wanted to hear. Because now we know that uh, West has got the king of hearts, the king of diamonds and the king of spades. Okay, any questions? Got a tiny bit more to say on Sigma and then we'll practice some hands. I've got plenty of practice hands for this. At least I think I have. If nobody's got any questions, there's... This would be the weak scale. So four clubs was uh, Relay Beta. And four no trumps, Ellie was showing three controls, four diamonds was naught, four hearts one, four spades two, four no trumps three. Okay? Don't forget that alpha always, the use of alpha always affects the scale for um, any subsequent beta. It's never ever the case, if we use alpha, it's never the case that we use the normal beta scale. Either we use the weak scale or the strong scale, or we don't have beta available at all, depending on what the alpha response was. Okay? Anybody else uh, got any questions about this hand? Okay. Ellie, because the alpha response showed naught to three controls. Okay, there's no point having uh, the using then the normal scale for beta, where the one step response shows naught to two controls. We're still no wiser. So where the alpha response shows naught to three controls, we're always using the weak scale, which is naught one two three. Because the idea is to find out exactly how many controls Responder has. It's no good having Relay Beta getting a, uh, a range response when we've had a range response already in connection with Alpha. Similarly, if Responder shows four controls or more in response to Alpha, there's absolutely no point using a scale that starts off 0 to 2. Because we know that he can't have naught to two controls, we know he can't have three controls because he's already promised at least four controls. Okay. Just just remember that the use of alpha always puts us into either the weak scale or the strong scale, depending on the alpha response, and it may disallow beta entirely on the basis that we already know exactly how many controls responder has if they went five steps in response to alpha okay so sigma is pretty rare 
have to say, it doesn't come up very often at all. Um, even alpha isn't as common as you might think. Um, it is only, it's normally the case where either Asuka is thinking of a grand slam and so Trump's validity is a big issue or they have a strong hand but a relatively weak Trump suit. So here, uh, East was immediately thinking possibly in terms of a grand slam if uh, West has got the right hand. Um, So just in case Responder showed up with two controls, now it might not be possible to be sure whether they had four small diamonds, in which case we have to reckon on a diamond loser, or if they had three to the king, in which case we haven't got a diamond loser. So here Trump's solidity was potentially important, so we used it. On the previous example hand, we used it because we had a very strong hand, but a relatively weak heart suit. We only had four to the king, and it was quite important to elicit the fact that Responder had queen jack to four, and we used sigma to get, and repeat sigma to get that information. Okay? Um, so, sigma is always used by a hand that, if, that fancies their chances in at least a small slam. If you're only thinking in terms of game, it's almost inconceivable you're going to bother with Sigma. Um, most often it's when Asuka decides that actually Trump's solidity is more important than using lots of Epsilons. It's the sort of hand where opener probably doesn't need to make a lot of epsilons, or maybe only one, um, and that will tell them everything that they need to know. And so they work out that they can afford to check on Trump's solidity and then use their one epsilon, the space for their one epsilon, uh, after they found out about Trump's. Okay, so on on that uh, first example hand, um, open has got a very strong hand, um, can immediately visualize the possibility of a slam, but they need to check up on trumps first because they've only got king 10 to 5. And so there's now a big difference between four small, uh, three to an honor, and so on. So that's the kind of hand where you might well... Uh, use Sigma because you only want to make one Epsilon in diamonds. Partners either got the Ace of Diamonds or they don't. But partners shown four um, four controls if they bid uh, two hearts. Um, so we need to check up on exactly how good partners spades are because we're immediately we know they got the Ace of Spades but if they've got ace to three, we have to reckon on at least one trump loser. If they've got ace queen to three or ace queen to four, then we know they've got the ace of diamonds as well. Um, so we're immediately looking at a grand slam. Either way, it is important to check up on trump solidity on that hand. Okay, has anybody got any questions on Sigma? Any questions at all on anything I've covered tonight? Just excuse me a minute while you're thinking about that. Coming up with some questions. 
although it sounds like all of you apart from Sanya and Barry and Ellie have all taken tranquilizers as usual. Okay. Can I please have four volunteers to sit? Again, doesn't matter if you're new to Sigma, but uh, please don't sit if you're not fully familiar with Alpha. Come on, guys. Time is money. We've got 40 minutes. We've got time for a few hands here. Thank you, Esther. Anybody else? Mr. Luce, I can always rely on you. Come on, guys. Two more, please. If the newbies to OCP uh, don't want to sit, it's fine. I'll take uh, anybody. Michael, David, Roger, Sona. Come on, guys. Have a sit. Naomi says that Michael and David should sit because she's never heard of you. Right, come on, right bid and uh, Major Blue. Let's have you sitting, please. Come on, guys, please don't be shy. Don't make me sit to do these hands because it's too boring for me. I can see all the cards and I set the hands in the first place, so uh, it's no fun for me at all. Come on, get your feet wet and give it a try, because you learn more by making mistakes in a scenario like this. You learn more than you do just sat watching. Don't stand back and wait for everybody else to do it. Please, can I have two people to sit? Oh, okay. They're all they're all sitting waiting for everybody else to do it. What can I do? Okay. Yes, I know. <laughs> right, Mr. Loot, let's head. Thanks, Roger. If anybody wants to sit north, please just let me know because I'm delighted to stand. So here, two hearts is alpha. North showed spades with one no trump. Two hearts is alpha in hearts. Roger is about to pass. Hopefully. So here, three diamonds would be Relay Beta, and uh, three hearts would be Sigma. Just depends entirely how South feels about the hand. D 
these aren't all necessarily hands where Sigma is um, the right way to go. Roger. So here, three spades over three hearts will be showing four small. And three no trump shows three to one top honor. So now, because I showed one top honor, four clubs would be repeat sigma. And four diamonds would be relay beta. using the weak scale Ellie because of the two the three club response initially That's so there's no point in repeat Sigma here because uh, John's got the jack of hearts um, so he knows I can't have it so he's gone straight to relay beta with four diamonds Roger, feel free to pass. Because <laughs> he's only got a pass. Because he's not, he's not, there's nothing for him to bid on this hand, that's why. He should. I know. So five, five club shows three controls because we're using the weak scale. So here, I think John is probably working out what he can and can't afford to ask. Very good, John. Okay. So John's worked out that he can afford an Epsilon in diamonds. Because if I don't have the King of Diamonds, and I don't have second round control of diamonds, my response is going to be five hearts or five spades. Um, five spades would show a doubleton diamond. That's the danger one. Um, it would be better uh, if there were two steps between um, five diamonds and our agreed chump suit because now we're only going to go beyond five hearts when I've got second round control of diamonds but as it happens So now John knows I've got exactly King X in diamonds. The danger there was my having exactly two small diamonds. 
Now John knows we're missing one of the black aces, but uh, his king of clubs is going to be protected on the opening lead. So six is quite safe. Do you feel like passing sometime this evening, Roger? Thank you, sir. Okay, let's have a lead and a claim, please. Well done, John. Okay, so here we had Sigma. Didn't bother with repeat Sigma, just went to relay beta. One Epsilon, which was worth doing. And then we just signed off. Any questions? Okay, let's give uh, East West a bash. Yes, Ellie, it is, demonstrably. We had nine controls there, but uh, um, we can make a slam. Slam is absolutely icy cold, really, despite only having nine controls. Mainly because South could tell that we couldn't possibly be missing an ace-king except it, if it was in spades, and if that was the case, um, uh, we could only use one spade because South had a singleton in the suit. So yeah, there are times when it's, it's worth doing. I wouldn't necessarily go looking for six no trumps if I was missing three controls. But six of a suit you can quite often do with, with uh, three controls missing. Especially if you can end up telling that uh, one of the kings that's missing is opposite a singleton in your hand. So two spades is alpha in spades. So a five-step alpha response. This is showing uh, good support. So four to at least one top honor. And exactly four controls. So Ellie, Ellie, this is directed to you. This is a situation where we cannot have a beta now because we know exactly how many controls East has. Do we conceivably want to use Sigma here? No, we don't. Ellie, that's entirely fine. You know, you have to judge on a given sequence, looking at your hand and what you know about partner's hand, whether you go to slam with your 12 controls and 17 top tricks. It's, it's up to you to decide. Okay, so four clubs is just uh, Epsilon. Can't be Relay Beta. Can't be Sigma. 
because three no trumps will be Sigma. So now East has exactly four controls. Uh, sorry, what am I talking about? Sorry, four clubs is Epsilon. And uh, I didn't say, re did I say really Beta? Four clubs is Epsilon because we know exactly how many controls East has. So five diamonds is showing first and third round control of clubs. So we're missing one king here, and we know that it's the king of clubs. So we know the trumps are solid. We know that West knows that East has the king of hearts and the king of diamonds. Okay, unfortunately, Roger, East has the dream hand. No easy way to get to seven spades here. In fact, I think the only way is to do something really obscure and actually forget about the four clubs. Forget about the four clubs, Epsilon in clubs, and just bid four diamonds, Epsilon in diamonds. Find out that Pan's got second and third round control, and then ask again in diamonds with five diamonds. Um, find out they've got King, Queen, Jack, X. And now you can bid seven, because you know that your club losers are going to go on these diamonds. Very difficult hand to bid seven here. Anybody got any questions? No. Oh, sorry. Forget that one.
So three hearts shows uh, four card spades with one top honor. Um, three dams would have shown three card hearts with two top honors. Three clubs, three card hearts. Sorry, three card spades with uh, one top honor. And uh, two no trumps would have shown four small spades. So over three hearts, I could bid three spades here as uh, a repeat sigma, but there's absolutely no point because I know what the response is going to be. So I'm just going to go straight to So, three controls opposite, uh, which is good news. That's just at the threshold. If John had bid four hearts here, I would just sign off in four spades. Um, just about space to uh, find out about this. Um, Yeah, but did he eat his mouse? Yeah, he ate his mouse. Did he eat your hand as well? I went to put his bed back in after he'd eaten his mouse, and he was all ready to lunge at me. <laughs> okay, so uh, is it possible here that South has three small diamonds? Absolutely, yes it is. I know John's got five hearts and four spades. No, it wasn't a dog. It was a, a royal python called Monty. As in Monty Python. Snake. Just, just try to eat my wife. Oh dear. Maybe next time he'll succeed. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, so here I would just sign off in five spades. In the hope that if John did have the right thing, that he would actually do something here. <laughs> Glad you took the hint here, John. Don't forget, I've used Sigma here, so I'm definitely interested in a slam. But suddenly... When John's bid five hearts over five diamonds, I've just signed off in five spades. What does that tell John? That tells him that his diamond control is absolutely crucial. And because he's got the stiff ace of diamonds, rather than three small diamonds, he should be bidding something over five spades. And it doesn't really matter whether he cubids six diamonds or just bid six spades but he should be doing something here because north use sigma and that's always interested in a slam this is a very good case in point for thinking on your feet and taking the right inferences from the bidding it's obvious here that i've signed off in five spades because it's possible that John has three small diamonds. In fact, John has the stiff ace, which is about as good as it gets in terms of controls.
Right, but I didn't ask in clubs. I asked in diamonds. Sonia, that's why. If I'd asked in clubs rather than diamonds, if I bid five clubs over four spades, and he bid five diamonds, and now I bid five spades, he would be perfectly justified in passing five spades. But because I asked in diamonds, it's obvious that Well, it's worth a it's worth a try, Walid. I did assume none. On this hand I might well pass four spades. But it's such a the, the five diamonds, five heart, five spade sequence is very revealing and it's very it's a very useful sequence to show you, which is the only reason I bid five diamonds in the first place. Normally, I would probably uh, pass four spades on this hand. In fact, I might not even uh, use relay, be relay beta. Because I've only got six controls. And so, if partner's only got three, which is the most he can have, um, I'm fairly balanced. I need partners to have some good shape to have any possible chance of making more. And I know that the King of Diamonds is missing. Because I know that John's got the King of Spades, so if he's got three controls, um, he can't possibly have the King of Diamonds as well. So either he hasn't got the Ace of Diamonds, or he hasn't got the King. Yes, but he can still have three small diamonds. And a singleton club, can't he? Sanya. Okay, so that's why it's right to bid five spades over five hearts. But it's also why it's right for John to bid six spades over five spades. Because clearly his, uh, his possible lack of a diamond control was the reason why I bid five spades. And actually he's got the one holding that obviously really matters, which is the stiff ace of diamonds. Okay, anybody else got any questions or comments? Okay. So two hearts alpha.
So three hearts is sigma. Well, well, I think I would play this as, I think I would play this as, uh, um, as Relay Beta, but. I would play, what, well, four hearts would be repeat sigma, because don't forget, we've got a, a hand interested in slam here, by definition, John, if we're using sigma. So four hearts would be repeat sigma, which means that four spades is uh, relay beta. which means that four no trumps is wrong. Sorry, Roger. Well spotted, well spotted, Roger. Were you thinking of the uh, special week scale there or something, Roger? Ah, oh, well. So we're missing two controls somewhere.
Uh, we're going to claim Esther, somebody. Okay, could we possibly reach this magic seven hearts? Uh, I guess we could, but it's... Yeah, I think she does. What she doesn't know is enough to bid seven. Um, thing is, we know that two controls are missing. But what she doesn't have the space, and she can find out with five spades whether Parton's got the ace of spades. Um, but that doesn't tell you what her distribution is in the minors. So she could potentially have two small diamonds and the king of clubs. But now you pretty much need uh, hearts to be 2-2. Two, two to be sure of being able to rough the clubs good, or reasonably sure. If you look at these two hands, you probably do want to be in seven hearts, but uh, it's not a great, not that good a contract. Um, you need the hearts 2-2, two, two, and then you can rough the clubs good. No, you can't. Sorry. Well, you need you need the uh, you need the hearts two two, and the clubs also four three. Now you could potentially rough the uh, the clubs good. No, you don't, Charlene. That's the problem. Partner might have two small clubs and king x in diamonds, and now. Uh, there's absolutely no way you can make 12 tricks. 13 tricks, rather. You can make 12, but you can't make 13. Anybody else got any questions? So, well bid, girls. Uh, Esther, rather. Uh, and Roger. Um, good sequence there. And just the right place to sign off. Okay, I think we've just about got time for one more. Mr. Luke will paint his masterpiece now, hopefully. Sorry? Who's... Mr. Loot, John Loot. Okay, so here, two no trumps is Alpha in hearts. So a six-step six step response to Alpha. So this is good four-card heart support with at least one top honor. And exactly five controls. So we've got no relay beta ever here. So we're within two bids of four hearts. So according to the rules, 
four hearts is repeat gamma and four diamonds would be epsilon I think by the way John we may need to do a little bit more work on uh, um, on this because I think uh, it's actually very unlikely that four hearts could be to sign off here when North showing five controls opposite um, and good four card heart support opposite uh, a one club opener and a heart alpha I think it's almost inconceivable that four hearts is a sign off And even if I thought it might be intended as a sign-off, I would treat it as repeat sigma. Sorry, as sigma, rather. This, because uh, I've got too good a hand opposite to a heart alpha here, as those who are kibitzing can see. Um, so I'm going to make the three-step response. Um, so because uh, four to one top honor is the minimum the three step response is showing four to two top honors John knows I must have Therefore, King Queen XX in hearts. He knows I must have the Ace of Spades and I must have the Ace of Diamonds. And he knows that the only control that's missing here is the King of Clubs. Very good, well done, John. It was an easy PC one, that, yes. Okay, guys, uh, that brings us nicely up to the witching hour. Um, so I think we'll call it a night there. Just one minute. Okay, so if you get a chance before next week, have a look at Zeta and Eta.